This is a question that came up from one of the students. The question is, how do I transfer tags from one Google Tag Manager account to another, as well as change the Google Analytics tracking ID that was used in the previous account to a new Google Analytics tracking ID? So I'm gonna show you in this video how this can be done. I'm gonna show you both how to actually transfer the tags and then how to easily change anything that you wanna change in those tags. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have the Google Analytics account that I wanna to transfer to another account. So let's first see how that can be done. First is you need to go to admin and then click on export container. Then you need to choose the version or workspace that you wanna transfer. So click on it and pick the latest one. So I'm gonna do the default version once that's done, here is a file that gets created. Go ahead and click on export. This file gets created, which is available in your download folder. This is a JSON file, so you need an editor. You can easily open this file with a text editor, so notepad. So I'm gonna click on show in folder. And here I am in the folder and I'm gonna go, and then I'm gonna click open with and then look for application I'm gonna use notepad and here you have that file that's opened in notepad this is where you can change any of the IDs that you want to change so let's say if I'm trying to change the Google Analytics ID which is available in a variable so if I go in the variables and I have GA ID. So I'm going to change it from this to another value. So what I'm going to do is copy this, go back to my file and find this. Edit, find, find next. This is where I find it. I'm going to click on find next to make sure it's not anywhere else. That's it. And you can change it to any Google Analytics tracking ID that you want right here. Once you do it, save your file. So let's say I change it to, for this demonstration, I'm gonna change it to, instead of UA, I'm gonna call it AB. So you know that I changed it. Generally, the IDs will be UA, but just to demonstrate how this works, I'm gonna change it to AB. Cancel this one and file save. Now this file is saved. Now I'm gonna go to another Google Tag Manager account I'm gonna pull this data into that. So let's go ahead and cancel this one, cancel this one, and change to another account. And as you can see, this is pretty much empty account. There's nothing in variables, there is nothing. These are built-in variables, nothing in user-defined variables, nothing in tags. So let's go ahead and import that all those tags that were in another account into this account. So go to admin. This time click on import container. And now you have to choose the container file. I'm gonna choose the container file that was just created. Go to downloads and pick the one that we changed. Click on it. And now we have the file. You can create a new workspace or click on existing and options to override or merge. I'm gonna leave everything as it is, and I'm gonna call it existing. Default workspace is the one I want, and now it shows me all the tags, variables, etc. Right, new modified, view detail changes, so I can see which variables are there. Go ahead and confirm it. Now, 26 changes were added. So let's go to variables. And you can see all these variables. Here is your GA ID that got imported. Click on it. And here you can see the tracking ID now has AB. So that's how you can change anything in JSON file, import it, and you can transfer tags from one account to another. Another way to change the value is once the data is imported, like it's here, you can simply go ahead and make the changes and once you're done, go ahead and save them. That's it. So there are two ways. 
one you can change after it's imported which works fine when you have the values stored in variables however if you have the values scattered throughout the tags then it becomes difficult to manually go and change within tag manager in that scenario you should change the file before it's imported for more videos like this make sure to subscribe to this channel and also visit training.optizen.com for many free and paid courses if you have any other questions feel free to send them to me thank you you can buy the complete google tag manager course at training.optizen.com or if you want to buy a book then head over to amazon and search for google tag manager zero to hero